go. Vamos. Art as we know it began in the caves. Human pattern making is a natural calling. When we engage in the creative process of pattern making, we are connected to the people of the prehistoric past and the people of the unknown future. In this first release of a series entitled Pattern Making is Human, I hope to shine a fresh light on the historic 1940 discovery of cave art and how I believe that it changed our perception of our prehistoric ancestors and ourselves. Hello dear viewer, my name is Jennifer Stafford Thomas. Mucho gusto, pleased to meet you. Thank you for getting on board with me on this artistic expedition into the world of humanity through the ages and throughout the places wherever people have left their mark. I want to begin our journey into the miraculous world of pattern making and humanity with this disclaimer. I am not a historian in the classical sense. I am, however, a teacher, an artist, an armchair cultural anthropologist, a proud El Pasoan, a native Texan, an insatiably curious soul. My story is about art. The way in which I will show my version of history is from my rudimentary understanding of the very complicated and often tragic events of the past. I love all people, and through this principle, I believe that all voices and perspectives are valuable. I have sincerely and laboriously endeavored to be fair of mind and on the fairest side of art. I will keep my focus on these two aims. To celebrate the universal humanity of artistic endeavor and human ingenuity. To bring to light the fact that pattern making is human. My philosophy. I believe that the entire human race is inextricably intertwined and wholly united in the realm of art where everyone's endeavors are deserving of sincere appreciation and thoughtful notice. Where will this trail lead? Who knows? Quién sabe.
Glasgow was inhabited for about 2,000 years. The Dordogne region of France. The limestone caves of Lasco. Today, the Dordogne region of southwestern France is lush riverland flanked by towering limestone cliffs and hidden deep cave systems. Dordogne is pronounced as Dordogne in English. Lasco is pronounced Lasco. The limestone cliffs of the Dordogne region of France. On September 12, 1940, the 18-year-old Marcel Ravidat, his dog named Robo, and some of his friends went in search of the fabled buried treasure of the Lasco Cave. The French teenagers discovered a treasure that day, but not in the way the boys could have ever dreamed. With the help of Robo the dog, the four boys discovered the cave entrance, and then they prepared to enter. They carefully descended down a long, dark shaft. The four boys took turns slinking down the shaft until all of their feet stopped solidly on the cave floor. In the soundless, lightless chamber, they turned on their flashlights and aimed their streams of light thoughtfully around the grotto. Searching for untold treasures and fatal dangers, they aimed their dim yellow rays down and around the cave floor and walls. At last, they pointed their flashlights high over their heads. Four French teenage boys had made a major discovery for the world. Until that day, no one had found any evidence that Paleolithic humans had lived, hunted, and painted with such precise beauty during the Ice Age right there on that spot around 20,000 years ago. The young men discovered a complex cluster of caverns unknown to humanity for thousands of years. They quickly realized that this was a find for the ages and told their teacher, who in turn alerted the proper authorities.
newspaper reporters, photojournalists, archaeologists, anthropologists, speleologists, art historians, and the generally curious are awestruck by the discovery. The young men named each gallery in the cave system for the more than 600 paintings and 1,500 engravings of animals, people, and abstract images. The Paleolithic people of Lasco painted these astounding images deep in the cave system. They use lamps similar to these. Many equines are depicted in the Hall of Bulls. Do those shapes represent arrows? Twenty thousand years ago, during the Ice Age, the land of the European continent was very different. The land closely resembled steppe, a sea of grassland. The grasslands provided food for the herbivores and prey for the predators. Ice Age animals? Really? Wow. It is mind-blowing to me that European Ice Age people actually coped with frosty temperatures and successfully progressed during the reign of the enormously dangerous Ice Age mammals. What a perilous world. How mighty brave, strong, and clever they had to have been. Amazing. Humans and mammoths living together? It sounds like science fiction, but the overwhelming truth is that this is factual. True that. Our human ancestors faced daily life or death hardships but still carved out time to discover the resources, refine them, then invent the tools to create their art. 
absolute genius. The climate of southwestern France is famous for being mild and somewhat humid. Perfect for growing grapes. Mm. However, 20,000 years ago, during the Ice Age, the climate was very different. Dinosaurs had long died off, and most mammals had evolved to have more fur. An ice age is when the polar caps and land masses are largely covered with unimaginably thick ice sheets. Much of the archaeological and chronological data are in dispute. As technology improves and new sites are discovered, data and understanding shifts. The numbers I present are general and not specific. Human beings painted large images of Ice Age animals deep inside the caves. The Stone Age people of 18,000 before the Common Era may have used the area around the mouth of the Lascaux Cave as their home. Curiously, the Lascaux Cave dwellers painted areas deep inside the cavern in the pitch black absence of any natural light. Paleolithic people made lamps and refined fuels from the materials they could find, such as stones and animal fat. These are just three of about a hundred lamps that archaeologists found on the floor of the Lascaux Cave. The cave artists used animal fat for the combustible fuel and plant stems for the wick. Who knows? How did people ever figure out how to make lamps like these? How did they figure out how to use flintstone to light the lamps? How long did this take? Pure genius. Wow. Quién sabe? Who knows? Well, no one knows exactly for sure how precisely human beings harnessed the power of fire so early on in the history of humankind. One theory is that early people didn't make fire, they harvested it. Prehistoric humans saw how lightning could start a fire. People would bring sticks to a lightning fire and capture fire from there. Another theory has evidence to substantiate it, but no one knows a date certain when human beings began to create fire. They more than likely used the flint and steel method to start fire. Flint stone and iron pyrites can be used as a fire starter. When these two rocks are hit together, they cause a spark. The spark is lit over a tenderness, a mass of dry plant matter. The tinder nest is made from dried shreds of bark, leaves, moss, fungus, or little stems. Tinder catches fire very easily, but goes out very easily too. 
Progressively larger stems and then branches are added to the fire to make it grow. Eventually larger logs are added until a healthy fire is going strong. Wow, who knows? Amazingly, flint and iron pyrites are found together in nature. Conveniently, flint and iron pyrites are found near limestone. Superb coincidence! The Lascaux cave area is made out of limestone. Why did the Lascaux artist take such care to paint animals and hunting scenes in the darkness and depths of the cave? the reason why Lascaux artists painted was to create a mystical connection to their prey. Some theories suggest that the paintings were positive affirmations, something like a magic spell or a prayer visualizing success in the hunt. Some theories suggest that the caves were used as sites for spiritual rites and initiations. It is recognized that even at this early stage of humanity, People wanted to feel connected to the infinite and forever. Some theorists suggest that the experience of walking down spooky cave passages, hidden deep in silence and mystery, to view huge animal paintings flickering in lamplight was a form of theater. We may never know exactly why. Who can know for sure? Quién sabe? This discovery would change human understanding and assumptions of our prehistoric ancestors. The Lascaux discovery provided artistic proof that prehistoric people were much more advanced than previously considered. It was a startling revelation that prehistoric, Paleolithic, Stone Age, caveman primitive people could possess a natural and profound understanding of the depths of serious art making. Aesthetic beauty. Acute awareness of proportion and color. Accurate rendering of animals in motion. Storytelling. This was the general perception of K people before 1940. Modern people had traditionally made fun of the idea that cave people were indeed barbarous oafs. Savage. Unorganized. Barely human. Animalistic, unintelligent. Undeveloped. It 
It appears prehistoric humanity might have been curious about philosophical ideas such as afterlife, mysticism, and spirituality. Prehistoric humankind were strikingly more technologically advanced than the people of 1940 could have ever imagined. Paleolithic people were clever and resourceful. We learned that prehistoric humanity mastered fire. They made tools to hunt with and to carve meat. They fashioned needles to stitch clothing together. They made lamps to illuminate their spaces. They lived in groups and cooperatively produced paintings and engravings that look as if they were made by a contemporary skilled artist. To the world of 1940, it was a complete surprise that prehistoric people could record the animals of their world in such a tender, observational, and naturalistic realism. There are older caves, so why is Lasco important? Lasco is not the oldest site of cave art in the world. It is, however, the landmark discovery that became a global phenomenon, which opened humanity's eyes to an astonishing philosophical mirror and a magnifying lens on the evidential realities of human life in prehistoric times. The Altamira Cave in Spain is older than Lasco. The magnificent Paleolithic parietal art of Altamira, Spain was discovered in 1868, 72 years before Lasco. The cave art of Lasco, France, is estimated to be 20,000 years old. Altamira is estimated to be 16,000 years older than Lasco. The cave art of Lasco is estimated to be 20,000 years old. Altamira is estimated to be 36,000 years old. Altamira did not make near the impact that Lasco did. Why? I have some ideas why this happened. Advancements in technology had connected the world. Before the technological boom of the 1900s, the world at large was not ready to receive and react to groundbreaking discoveries en masse. World travel and communications were slow and very expensive. Transatlantic travel by dirigible was slow, expensive, and dangerous. The Hindenburg went down in 1938, but the giant ships were luxurious and comfortable. Boy, howdy, how things changed by 1940. In the 1940s, the world was ready to receive and react to the exciting news of the French prehistoric find. Technology was booming in the 1940s. Communications technology brought forth the telephone, the telegraph, and teletype machines. 
Travel Engineering developed the helicopter and jet engine. Transatlantic travel became available to the public. No longer were planes made of wood, but were of metal construction. Plane travel was considered a luxurious and a dress-up affair. Planes had kitchens and sleeping booths. The Lasco discovery hit at a time when people were avid readers and kept up with the news. People relied on print for details about the world news. World War II was churning in Europe and in Asia. Magazines and books were a major source of entertainment. Thus, the discovery of prehistoric art in a French cave went viral! So for the reasons of groundbreaking technology and increased literacy in the world, Lasco made an enormous splash. Thus making Lasco the teenage discovery that changed the world. Thank you, dear viewer. I hope that you enjoyed my video point of view. Maybe you relearned something you had forgotten, or perhaps you learned something new. In any case, I thank you for checking it out. I invite you to the next part of the Lasco Cave series and my theme, Pattern Making is Human. Gracias, Jennifer. <laughs>
fire good. Fire kept people safer. Predators and insects don't want to be close to fire. Fire kept people healthier. Warmer nights help people to stay healthier and get less sick. Food can be cooked and made safer to eat. Cooking kills bacteria that makes people sick. Water can be sterilized by boiling. Meats and other foods can be preserved by dehydration or smoking. Reliable and clean food sources make families and communities to grow and to flourish. Firelight made people's days longer. Now nights had light and heat. Work can be done after sundown which made people more productive. Leisure time enhances human emotional ties and opens up time for thoughtfulness and creativity.